In this lesson, we're going to learn about something called paths. Think of it as paths in the woods. And what this is all about is being able to connect one web page to another, even if you have web pages in different directories. So what do I mean by that? So let's go to our my website. And you notice that all our web pages are in the same directory. They're sitting right beside each other. So let's do something that could screw up a lot of people. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it sub-pages. Now, if you remember, always put a dash or no space. You don't want a space if you remember. You want a, you want a dash or something in between your words in a file name. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take my friends and we're going to put it into this folder here. So here it is, my friends. Okay, so let's see what happens when we try to load my friends. Web page not found. Why is that? Let's go back. Your page source. You see, my friends were pointing to the file my-friends.html. If you look at it right here. Now the problem is if you look at our directory structure, you look at our folders, this is the index page, right? This page right here. The My Friends page is no longer here. It's in subpages. Here it is. So we have to tell the web browser that the My Friends page is actually in that, uh, that subfolder, which is called subpages. So let's do that in our code editor. So I'm going to pop open Sublime Text. Here's my friends. So we go sub, oops, dash page and slash. Let me just confirm that. Oh, no, it's pages. Oops. I'll save that. So the rule is whenever you have a subfolder, you have to name that subfolder in your link. So in your href. So I'm saying check in subpages, sub dash pages, and look for the file myfriends.html. So we go back there again. So my dash friends.html. So uh, let's uh, see if this works now. Well, first of all, I have to save it. Save. So let's see if it works now. Ah, it works. We've loaded up our friends pages. So let's go back home. Dope, it's broken. So we're back in my website again. So why, when we click the link in myfriends.html, we clicked it to go back to the index page, why was it broken? Well, that's because if you look at the my friends code, let's go in here, my friends, open with sublime text, you can see the link to back to index, it says that index is just right beside it, as it was originally, right? We're, we're saying it's right beside the My Friends page, is right beside the index page, but we know it's not. We know it's actually up a directory level. It's up above subpages in what they call the root of the website. This is the root of the website. When you first open the, the where the index page is of a website, that's called the root. This is a subdirectory. We call it the subdirectory, subpages. We could have called it anything we wanted. So now what we have to do with our code, our code that's in my-friends.html, we have to tell that page that the index page is actually up in the root subdirectory. So the way you do that is like this. You go dot dot slash. Dot dot slash means go up the previous directory. That's what that means. So let's uh, save and uh, let's preview this. And uh, yeah, let's go back home. It works. Fantastic. But if we go back to that friends page, and if we click any of these links, because we didn't tell it to go up a directory level, you see it just goes right to the, uh, directly to the page. It's not going to work. So let's click on this. Well, of course, <laughs> that one works because 
we're on my friends and we're saying go to my friends. So yeah, it can find that page, but this won't work. There we go. Nor will this work. There we go. So that's the basics of paths, P-A-T-H-S in HTML. And this will have a major impact in terms of building your links, because if you have a very complex site, you're going to have many subfolders, many, many subdirectories, and it'll also impact on other things like images. So we'll get to that when we get to the images part of this course.